divine smile on you, friend. What do you need? Finest cuts. Well met, kinsman. Cake, baby, sir. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. We've stopped. What is it? If there's anything I can help How can I serve you, my thane? Lead on, then. What do you need? Take a look. Come back any time if you need a remedy. I'm still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lead on, then. Offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if you look rather pay. Take a look. Until next time. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Drink to our youth, today's come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm. Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's captain of the guard. And we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. 
I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the metery. If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Savjorn ends up in jail, she's gonna take over his metery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar metery in Whiterun? You're looking at him. Once Savjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. One way or another, we don't want the pests coming back. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. Remember, Savjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. Finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the metery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Oh, very well. Here's half. You'll get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy, good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Now I've got to clean up this mess.
I'm still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's go.
I can't wait to see Sabjorn squirm. Was something we discussed unclear? Take a look. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not <laughs> what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Sabjorn. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me.
Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vamp I run the meat and produce stand at the market. Come by and see me if you want to. I trust you have good news for me? This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. I believe we're done. Divine's blessing. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Let's get going. I'm at your command. Lead on, then. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Come to see Balaman perform. Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. You've saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful life together. Things are much better now that Grelwick is dead. But still, I'm sick of this place. Why someone like you want to hang around a place like this? I'm strong and quick and can do any chore you want. Come on. I used That's to hate it here, but please? it's not so bad anymore. Constance is real good to us. Congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful life together. Congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful life together.
something to you. I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of impressed how well you're doing around here. Just keep it between us, okay? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living, either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold doing it, too. It's where a client pays you to get arrested, and you get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. That's where my strengths came in handy. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves' Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. And the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. Some other time, perhaps. What do you need? Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Slimy bastard. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions.
can't believe Gollum is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. There are thieves, and then there is Gullam I. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Gullam I works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullam is holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gullam alive, but remind him who we are. for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. No killing or no pay. Remember that. Better be important, I'm quite busy. Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught? Like any skill? If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose that could be worse. Jewelry, legendary. Oh, I 
member. You're the new member of the Companions. So you what? Nearly done, guys. Let's get going. I'm at your command. Let's go.
I'm still here. I'm at your command. Lead on, then. Some fresh meat to fill your belly, perhaps? Be careful looking for those teeth. Those We've stopped. What is it? Dangerous. Let's go. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. <laughs> <laughs> 